Hey guys, it's Carrie here. I'm back with another video. This time it's a vlog of the very first day of animation class in Miami, Florida. Specifically storyboarding. Spent all last semester remote through the whole pandemic. It's nice to be back on campus. We're gonna start off with the first day outfit. I was really excited, so I dressed up a lot for this and I wear this. All of this is from Sheen or Romwe. Same thing, same thing, I think. So I got the anime shirt from Romwe. The backpack I'm rocking is from Samatree. They sent that over to me for free. I'll leave the link down below. And I'll also do a separate follow up video so that you guys can know what I bring to school. And here's some view of the city, Miami. I live it down here, but I hate driving here. I got lost on the way to school. Even now, a couple weeks later, I still get lost. So much traffic. It's always building. Oh man. And we're right like in the Wynwood area with the art districts and stuff so yeah finally arrived and now getting my backpack and we're going to school and I'm excited I'm excited I'm excited because last semester was remote and my teacher wasn't very good it was a background drawing class and I didn't learn anything and here's some more view of the city and this was so awkward to do guys oh man this was my first vlog my first real vlog and I've been so nerve-wracking so this is the lab and the classroom looks kind of similar but the lighting wasn't very good so I'm so sorry for this first video that the lighting is gonna be bad but I got to use a Wacom Cinti 22 HD in class this thing is huge it's the biggest drawing display that I've ever used on and it's so nice oh man and the program we're using for this class is Storyboard Pro 7 I've never heard or used this program before so it was a learning curve so for the first day my professor already had a project for us we have to do a storyboard on telling a short story between i think five at least five frames i was testing out the pressure on this and oh man it's nice it's nice i was testing out the brushes too because i'm not familiar with this program and i really hate trying new programs the learning curve is like so painful for me i hate it but um it was really nice that this program has layers and onion skin and some of the layout the layout kind of reminds me of krita or um clip not clip paint studio but the other one um the other open resource program this program is not free it's like you have to pay its subscription and i only have access to it at school here's me again um again this was so awkward for me that's why i don't have a lot of shots showing myself drawing only at the beginning that's when i went to the lab and stuff but in the actual classroom i like there's a lot of people and i get so awkward oh man and for my first assignment i'm doing a storyboard about having like uh trouble coming up with an idea it's like my whole thinking process of coming up with an idea so my storyboard on the first day is about that and i'm using my oc my persona with the two heart buns and um i was like i have my tablet open on the other end you guys can't really see since it's super dark here and here is a drawing of one of my classmates like she was doing like this scenery and oh it's so nice i love her work a lot of people in my class are super talented i'll leave her instagram down below and here is another one of my classmates i need to get his Instagram and put it down below as well because it, it was kind of really nice I had people to ask about and everybody else was kind of new to this program as well and here comes some speed sketch and I'm sorry this is handheld so it might not it's not the best footage but I really wanted to document the first day of this I've been waiting for this for so long but the pandemic happened it postponed my plans to go back to school I took a gap year and it's it's really nice to be back on campus i know with we're still following protocols so we have our mask on and uh uh man i'm just i'm kind of i'm kind of excited to be back back in class i wish it was more of a blended session where we had less people in and maybe we could do have some class remote sometimes but it's all on campus i understand since the material is like heavy our professor actually had a demo the first day and um he taught us a little bit of this program and to use the onion skin and how we can move it around 
and oh it's been pretty nice uh, i still prefer drawing in photoshop or clip paint studio i do not like drawing into this program it's like every it took me much longer to do this than i wanted to this class is about two hours long and it took me the whole two hours down to the last minute to finish this assignment so this was time consuming uh, because of the learning curve and it's been really nice using a really big display like this i really wish i had the space in my room for one of those big tablets but the biggest i can put in my room is a 15.6 inch i feel like personally for me that's a perfect size where it's not too small but it's not too big especially if you don't have the room or real estate too and uh, i I didn't have the shortcuts on the Wacom 22 HD setup. I was trying to adjust them, but it was it was actually kind of a hassle. I'm not sure if it's, if it's because this is school property where like there's a lot of things they don't let you change, or if it's because it's like a Wacom driver issues. I normally don't have these problems, but it was kind of frustrating. Oh, and also the Wacom 22 HD. Or oh, this is not. I'm not sure if this is the HD version or not, but the Wacom 22. This one is on touchscreen, so I had to use the mouse and keyboard for a lot of the basic functions. And um, one cool feature that it did have was like it had these like trackpads on the side, on the back of the tablet. I'll have to do a whole separate video on that since this was my first day. There was only so much I can get. And I've been posting a lot about my school journey on my Instagram story since that's a little le less discreet to show. Again, vlogging like this is super awkward for me, but I'm going to get over myself and get better at it. Especially since I really want to document a lot of this because I know my little brother wants to go into animation a lot. And uh, I really want to document this process and eventually make a full video after my program is done comparing um the cost of this to like private university because i am going to a public school here in miami and uh, i'll reveal more details about that in a more future video and uh, here's my classmate again she made so much progress on her storyboard i think um she went frame by frame and actually animated some of it me i was just like doing the bare minimum of what was doing the assignment since uh this program storytelling a lot of this aspect is still very new to me so it was really nice to see her work and again i'll drop her at down below and oh man i i had so much fun that first day i was i have my tablet the tab s6 light on the side with the references on pinterest if you guys could see really quickly right there and i mostly played around with a lot of facial expressions and just copied and pasted a lot of stuff just to speed up the time and uh it's been ah oh, it's been so fun and i'm still behind on homework for this class so a lot of my content will be around school so that way i could like knock it down knock three birds with one stone so i have uh, a couple new tablets to try out and a couple new hardware that i uh, i'm gonna be using the school assignment to get a <laughs> so i could get my school work done i could get uh, a video out for you guys and uh, i could meet my deadlines with brands so yeah I had a lot of fun drawing this and different facial expression. I was actually really uh, looking everything up on Pinterest. My professor actually really encouraged that, which was really nice. It's been so nice to have a professor that teaches on the first day. It's enthusiastic and uh, oh man, it was nice and um, having <laughs> being able to ask questions in real time because my last professor again wasn't very good on top of like uh, wasn't very great with technology so a lot of the times for some of the lessons we couldn't hear him so many technical issues he's my classmate again she added colors to hers i don't even know how you can do that in this one uh i couldn't um find a good brush to kind of really color with or even export this she was showing me how to export um i'm almost done with this um i'm happy that i could turn on the onion skin to kind of really finish and let me know what uh more content that you guys would like to see uh for a vlog i'll definitely be trying to show more of my day and things like that but i take classes mostly in the night time and it's usually right after work so <laughs> that's why i didn't have a lot of setup time to really show you guys besides my outfit that was because that day i was working from home and that's not always the case so <laughs> i'm usually in the office at work and my schedule always varies since my daytime job is a videographer slash photographer for a company and i'm almost done with this i uh, i'm so happy that i just did my persona and speaking about my persona i'm gonna be perfecting that in my character design class 
uh, my next vlog will be about that class that class uh, I find that I learned so much more in since it's a lot of learning the foundation and then uh, my teacher does a fantastic fantastic job of encouraging us to learn the foundation but like sty uh, learning how to stylize better so I can create you can create your own characters and stuff so it's kind of nice and kind of aids me with this class too especially with the storytelling so I can have some content for you guys because that's the type of stuff I've been wanting to make for years but I never knew how to do so here is how my first storyboard look first day assignment uh i have some text right there that i i'm sorry i'm going through fast to to read but it's basically talking about like oh i was like i got my assignment i got an idea but then i got nervous about it then i got determined and i finished it which was like <laughs> basically my whole first day and here's the classroom again here's one more look and then we're driving out in the city it's really nice driving on night but it again miami is so stressful to drive in it's like la new york other major cities uh but it's like so nice i love the sky rises and stuff i don't live right in the middle of the city but in the suburbs close by so i'll catch you guys in the next one bye